What's up with you? What's up? What's up with you? I'm doing good. Are you? I'm doing good. A little cold out here. Yes, it is. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. Okay, so I am Carly. Um, I'm an artist, model, business owner. I have many titles, mainly rapper. So. Yeah. That's what I do. That's where I first um, I got introduced you. It's who you as as an yes. artist as far as being a rapper. Yes, absolutely. I seen last night, you said, uh, was that last night? Sunday. Sunday, Sunday night, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, the um, Proud to be Ambitious Fashion yeah, Show, yeah. yeah. So I guess I can add model to the list of things now. I was, I'm super awkward, so I'm like, I didn't think I was going to get picked, but they picked me. So I was like, yeah, it was super lit. It was super lit. That was definitely the place to be. Definitely so. I was just talking about the experience there. Um, um so it was just, it was lit. The whole situation was lit. Um, it was a fashion show, so I don't know if you know Q from Shop Ambition, but he was the one putting it on, which I thought was dope, you know, to have like something in St. Louis that, you know, was actually a good thing toward a good cause. And there was so many people in there. JR was there, Fresco King was there. I met Jizzlebucks and I did not freak out. I was like, ah. Yeah, there's a lot of people, but it was super dope. There's a lot of cute clothes. I tried not to go broke <laughs> and get some. But yeah, it was super fun. It was, it was an awesome experience. I know he's gonna have another one in Atlanta okay. in January, I think. So yeah, he's all out here. It's an inspiration for real. Yeah. And you said you didn't think you would get picked to actually be a model. <laughs> no, because I never thought of myself like that. Well, I used to be a big girl, so I never, I don't know, see myself like that. But then it was like, yeah, you got the part. I was like. I do. Like, I never walked before. I was scared. Terrell Keith is intimidating. Like, he had this fan, and we would walk at rehearsal, and he'd be like, I'm like, <laughs> who got in trouble? But it was, it was super fun. It was definitely fun. So, I would do it again, for sure. Absolutely. Now, you say you used to be um, a bigger woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's that feeling? Like, slam down? I see the progression from the, um, like that video. To yeah. The, uh, FG yeah, FG. yeah, that was crazy. It's weird because I still see myself, I don't see myself as small anymore or at all. I never did. I was always big. Since like fourth grade, I was always chubby. But it's weird because now I get attention that I didn't used to get before. I'm like, he's talking to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. So it's cool though. I mean, it's, it's weird. It, I don't know. It's a little bit weird being different sizes, but. It's crazy because I have a song called Thick and now I perform it and they're like, Thick where? Like, <laughs> like, listen, I used to be. I know how it was. So, yeah, it's cool though. It is what it is. I like myself in every yeah, you were body pretty, size. You, so. Even with, uh, like you yeah. said, being a big woman, you were pretty confident. Yeah, people say that all the time, but I never felt confident. It was just, I didn't care. Like, I was just like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. So, that's what I Now, how was life? As a young Carly? Uh, as a young Carly, life was kind of crazy. Um, I grew up in a small town. I'm actually from Perryville, so it's real, it's real quiet out there, but I grew up, my dad has mental illness and stuff, so my life was not quiet. It was insane, so I just had to go through that. Um, I was in and out of trouble. I was always in all school for fighting and stuff like that, or whatever so life it's better now <laughs> childhood was not lit for me <laughs> at all but but it was cool it made me who I am so I wouldn't take nothing away from that speaking of just like you know being I guess a more confident woman you say you was confident I thought you were you know, <laughs> outside looking in yeah but it just recently you had the um, inspired women the appreciation Appreciation um, event at Blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Women's um, Appreciation. Yes, I love that. I, all the women there, I met Tommy. I met so many different girls there. Who is Tommy from Love and Hip Hop? Tommy D. Uh, I don't know if you know who that is. Uh, she's, uh, she's a model too. She's from Ryan. But all the girls there are super dope. It's, it's a good event. I like women that support women. Too many of us are at each other's necks all the time. So it's definitely nice to see women that support women. And of course, J Star and Cash for putting it on. They support us too. Just dope. Sometimes men don't. <laughs> but I think that's more like an ego thing, like you said. Women not support women. Men kind of the same way. Right. Yeah. For sure. It's definitely an ego thing. But 
They gotta put that shit aside because we can be friends, girl. Like yeah, that. yeah, collaborate on some shit. I know. Make some money together. You never know. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be in that bag. Always. Fuck up a check. Fuck up a check. Fuck up a check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if I have to, I'm gonna fuck up a face. Period. Yeah. That's I like that. That's my fucking catchy. Thank you for sure. Yeah. Even just like you looking at your YouTube page, you building up your audience. And yeah. You putting all your music on your page. Yeah. What I seen. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Tino's done all my videos. He's I from St. Yeah, Louis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's super dope. He's a super cool guy. Super chill. I was kind of intimidated the first time I met him because he works with Ari. He works with several big names. Big names. Like, but he's like the coolest dude ever. He's just like, hey, I'm, I'm Tino. <laughs> we gonna do this. So yeah definitely fun and I'm surprised that it's got the feedback that it has because nobody knew who I was I'm not from here like I just showed up one day and then people were like oh <laughs> she's kind of cool <laughs> yeah I, I ran across you a few times I know for sure I remember for sure at the Asian Dow yeah Asian Dow I think I seen you at the spot too spot here yeah, yeah. Spot. Yeah, sure. be we'll be back there on the 31st so for the Halloween event yeah with JR JR's up there yeah also. How was it um, down in Atlanta? You shot your video down there. Yes. Oh my gosh. Atlanta is such a vibe. I love it down there. It seems like every time I go there, it's always some sort of opportunity. That's what I like about it. It's always, because I'm like that. I move. Like, I don't ever sit still for real. Like, I'm always working or working on something or, you know, doing something. That's how Atlanta is. So, when I went down there the first time, um, I went with Darian and he got invited to King of Diamonds so we went there and we performed and then I got introduced to Molly World I don't know if you know who that is but she's a big modeling casting she casts for uh -huh, T.I.'s uh -huh, videos uh -huh, and stuff uh -huh. so we got tapped in with her it just seems like you never know who you're talking to until they're like I'm this and I'm like oh okay like <laughs> it seems like there's networking. a lot of yeah networking all the time so why I'm nice to everybody you gotta say be nice to the cameras, you be nice to the CEO. Exactly. They might switch, you know. You never know. <laughs> you ain't gonna see Steve Jobs and Gucci. He's gonna be wearing an Amazon shirt and some freaking yeah. thrift store shoes. Like, you never know. Never know. I'd have That's been in a situation fact. like that. That's all you say. It's always be genuine. Yeah, person, for sure. A genuine relationship. Absolutely. Got to. Like, how did you get involved with the St. Louis music scene? What you saying you being from Perryville? Yeah. Well, basically out there, it's all like country music. So I was going to the studio um, at, where was I at the time? Fat Buddha. And he was like, you just got to get out there because you got it. You just sitting at home, though. You just sitting at home making music, putting out videos. And I mean, I guess you can in this day and age, like, make it from your house. But it's so much easier to get out there and you know just show the world what you do so i think the first show i did i think it was at food bar and then i got good feedback and i was because i was so scared because you know i mean i'm gonna just say i'm a white girl so i'm like i don't know how people are going to react to this but they was like yo like <laughs> This girl's weird. spinning. Weird shit, <laughs> so yeah, so then I started doing that and then I seen Goose was doing that thing at the spot and then since then I just people keep inviting me to stuff so I keep going. I said in uh back in July I was like, I'm gonna say yes to every opportunity that I get. And so that's what I've been doing. It's just hey, you gotta be careful with that. Well shit. not every yeah, because <laughs> now because now it's like, man, like it's too much. I just overbook myself. But. I I can relate to the overbooking. We'll be doing the interviews. I'm like, oh my God, why would I? I feel like I'm having a um, conversation just having. I don't mean to, like, just say, oh yeah, I can get you this. I'm, I'm trying to do yeah. this, but then life happens. And other life things, always you know? happens. <laughs> yeah. But what's meant to be will always happen. It'll it, it happen at the right time. That's how I look exactly. at it. Exactly. I look so, at it like that. Every interview yeah. I did, I feel like it happened at the right time. The exactly. ones that I wanted to do. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. You always got to do some stuff you don't want to do, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where did you get this, um, I guess, where did you get drawn to the rap or hip-hop genre? Where like you say you come from Perryville, mm -hmm. it's been primarily country music. Right, yeah, for sure. That's It's actually kind of crazy because I just always gravitated towards hip-hop. I didn't really like country music. I mean, I have love for some of it. There, there is, there is. But for me, like, my life being crazy, like I told you, my dad has mental illness, so my life was crazy. Like, my dad shot at me. We went through some shit, and I didn't I didn't relate to anything that I was hearing around me, but I did relate to hip-hop. So 
and I didn't have nowhere to go because nobody ever knew what I was going through. Like, I was the only one in Perryville, Missouri that that was going happening to at the time. So I just, I listened to My Dad's Gone Crazy by Eminem and I related to it and I was like, yo, like that's a good outlet instead of turning into drugs or, you know, which I did get into fights and stuff like that when I was younger. But, you know, then I found that healthy outlet. So, and I was always writing poetry anyway, so I was like, might as well just turn it into something. Might as well. That's the story. <laughs> now, the situation with your dad, mm. like, how did that play on your mind? Like, was, mentally, how was that for you? It was wild because what happened was he was completely normal until I turned 11. And then it was like, have you ever saw a Snapped, the TV show where people just snap? Mm -hmm. Like, it was like that. Like, one day he was normal, and then the next day, me and my mom get home from Walmart. He's naked in the kitchen with a shotgun saying, They're trying to kill us. I'm like, who? Who's trying to kill us? So it was really weird. I had to grow through a lot of situations, but um, definitely made you mature faster going through shit like that. But now I'm, now I'm cool. But I had to go through years of therapy as far as that goes. That's good. But yeah, yeah. It's needed and there's a lot of people need therapy. A lot I go of people therapy now. Oh yeah. I know, and I, advocate that a lot. I took, I went away from it because when I was younger, they tried to put me on the same pills that my dad was on, and I didn't need that. I didn't need, I just needed healthy coping mechanisms, like I said, writing and stuff like that. Or and now I'm into like working out, which I wasn't then. That's good. Yeah, it is. But That's therapeutic. That's yeah, it is. It definitely is. But I don't, I'm, I'm not against pills if you need that, but I feel like there's other ways to try first before they're just like, oh, here, this will fix you. I agree. So, that shit made me feel like a zombie. For real. I don't want to not feel my emotions. I just want to deal with them better. So. Yes. Now, I may say it wrong, but patchouli. Patchouli, patchouli. yeah. Bliss. Yeah, that's my company. So, I started that. Last year, I got the stimulus check, and I really wanted to go on vacation. I did, but I was like, no, let me... I didn't know what was gonna happen with my job. So I was like, well, I've already, I went vegan and I had a lot of issues with my face and stuff. So I was trying to make my own products cause I figured it out that it was chemicals breaking me out. And like lotions and stuff actually dry you out. Like there's alcohol in there, which dries your skin out. I was like, man, let me just, let me try to, I'm good with my hands. So I'm like, let me try to make something up. And I did. And, People started buying it. Now I'm in stores up there. I'm trying to get in stores everywhere, but now it is. Because I make, label, ship, everything myself. The only thing I don't make is the packaging. <laughs> so it keeps me busy for sure. But it's dope. That's, that's dope. I'm like, I like the fact that you said you took your stimulus money and did it. Yeah, for Versus, sure. Versus, you know, most people, they just did this and all yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. That was, very, that was a very smart move to invest in yourself. Like yeah. You said, a job, you never know what's going to happen. So you yeah. need to provide the income now this job i mean this business but i'm sure provide that vacation you want to take yeah in the long run, and exactly. in the long run yeah, yeah for and sure many more. So that it, would be very yeah. good investment. absolutely for sure and they say a billionaire has like seven different streams of income so i'm like trying to it's like my fourth i think <laughs> yeah it, it grows over time you yeah know, but sometimes you might feel like, oh man, fuck this shit. <laughs> Literally, I say fuck this shit at least once a day, but I still do it anyway. <laughs> you got to. Man. You know, like, even with my platform, I started off a lot of times. I, I gave up. I didn't say I gave up, but I took a step back. I yeah. actually started three years ago. Yeah. That's I, dope, though. I took you a step back, off. like a year off. And I yeah. came back in 19, beginning of 2020. Yeah. I took off since then. I think that's important, though, because people, like we was talking about earlier, the overbooking yourself and everything, but. Sometimes you just need to rest and reset. Like I do that every now and then. Yeah, right now. you have to. It's vital. You can't pour from an empty cup. So. Not at all. For sure. And, um, speak on this issue. Not to throw off a race, but you threw it in there. I mean, I don't <laughs> care. I really don't the, care. Um, the Air Force Ones. The white Air Force Ones. You gonna talk about how it does <laughs> <laughs> yes. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Somebody said, you got white girl Air Force. I'm like, yeah, I know. They was a little dusty. Listen, cuz that's my third pair of forces. I can't keep clean. I'm from the country, man. <laughs> we out in the mud. 
<laughs> like, listen, <laughs> I'm so glad you said that, yo, for real. Yeah, I see a lot of pictures going around like, man, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't. We don't. I think, I think the Air Force Ones, the white ones that you know, that you had on, are equivalent to a black Air Force One. It's like, they say, what are you saying? I don't give a fuck about life. No, for real. <laughs> bugging and bugging in these dirty ass white Air Force. I will. Yeah, yeah. And that video was crazy too because I had a show the night before and then I left out at 2 in the morning, got there. I was supposed to be there at noon. I got there at 11.59. I did my hair at Hardy's because I didn't have nowhere else to do it. I did my makeup in the car. I was like, man. Tina was like, you gonna change? I was like, nope. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing. And it was talking about two, and I said something, if you're gonna take me shopping, we're going to the thrifty. Just cause my Air Forces are dusty, don't mean I gotta go buy new ones. I mean, I will, if I come up on a bag. <laughs> but that's my third pair, I can't. I don't, I, I don't, I don't need personally, I do not do white shoes. Yeah. Especially for my kids, but for myself, it's very seldom I buy myself some white shoes. Especially some four But they look so good. Like, what they say, last four dates, definitely fuck up your whole Literally. night. Literally. <laughs> and I always crease them. Yeah, they good for one, maybe two, depending on that first event you wear them for. You might get another world. Who did they say wears the new pair of forces? Was it Dre? I believe wears a new pair of forces every show. I'm like, dang. <laughs> one day I'm gonna get that money because that's what yeah. I need. Because there's no way I can keep it clean. Like somebody needs to make a product. That's that's the business. <laughs> hey, you can man, fix the white the girl forces, <laughs> man. I'm telling you, money. Coming to a close here. Do you got any last words you'd like to share? Oh, um, well, I'm trying to think. Uh, my last words. I don't know. Basically, just believe in yourself. Who cares if people are gonna laugh at you? They're gonna laugh anyway, they're gonna talk anyway, so you might as well do whatever you wanna do. It's not confidence, it's just doing it anyway. Cause you don't wanna be 80 years old and sitting there like, dang, I should've did that, but I didn't, cause I care what so and so was gonna say. So, and go watch my new video. <laughs> For real. Shout out to your social media handles. Okay, uh, my Instagram is at underscore I am K A R L I, and another underscore. And then my Snapchat, if you want to add that, I get real crazy on there. It's L A K A R L I E. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for having me, though.